Hey, -o. hey guys, how is your day going? This is DJ Face on 20 here again with NFL trivia. Yes, I decided to do some NFL trivia, see what I know, see what you guys know. Um, so before this even starts, I'd like to thank you guys for all the support I've been getting lately. Um, leave a comment, tell me what you want to do next. Also, leave comments of questions that you want to ask me about myself. I'm doing QA once I hit 100 subscribers, so please comment, like, subscribe, and let's get started with this video. All right, guys, we are right now at the trivia on Sporkle. If you haven't seen Sporkle, try Sporkle. A lot of trivia, a lot of cool trivia. So we got multiple choice, 25 questions. Let's see how we're going to do. First question is, who is the oldest NFL team? Now, probably a lot of you guys are going to assume the Bears or the Packers, but if I do remember correctly, I think the Cardinals were the first ones. I think they started in Chicago. Maybe as the Chicago Cardinals, I'm not 100% sure, but I do think it is the Cardinals. First on the board, let's go. Go to question numero two. Who has the most passing yards in the single games? Got Peyton Manning and Drew Brees. Those two could be good. I don't think it's either one of them, if I remember correctly. Dan Fouts would be a good option. Good quarterback. Norm Van Brocklin. I've never heard of Norm Van Brocklin. You know what? I'm going to go with Norm Van Brocklin just because that name sounds like a dude, you know? He sounds like a good dude. Look at that. What year was the first NFL playoff game? Now, it wants me to guess 1967 since that was the first Super Bowl. So it can't be 1970. So it's between 1920 and 1932. 1920 seems too old. I'll go with 1932. Again, we got that correct. Let's, who has the most touchdowns in a rookie season? Ezekiel Elliott, Barry Sanders, and Adrian Peterson. All of them had great rookie seasons. Um, I do believe, though, Gail Sayers had one of the best rookie seasons, if I do remember correctly. And that's really old, I know. And he only played, like, a couple amount of seasons. You know, if you haven't watched my best running backs of all time, hint, hint. No, but I do think the answer is Gail Sayers. So, final answer. <laughs> and we got it right again. Who has the most perfect passer rating games in NFL history, including playoffs? Including playoffs. Including playoffs. Is that trying to throw off Peyton Manning? I thought Peyton Manning had the most perfect passer rating games in NFL history. I feel like they're putting including playoffs just to try to throw you off since he had a not so great playoff career. So I'm going to go with Peyton Manning. And we've got to correct again. Let's a go, as Mario would say, I guess. Let's go to the next question. Who was the first Super Bowl MVP? I'm going to guess Bart Starr since Bart Starr was the quarterback for the Packers, but I don't think I don't think Vince Lombardi. I don't think they'd give to a coach. Bart Starr. There we go. Which of these QBs is not the number one overall pick in the NFL draft? If I had to pick either one of them, my guess would be Terry Bradshaw. I don't think he was number no Johnny Unitas. Maybe Johnny Unitas because Johnny Unitas was drafted by. Pittsburgh. People don't know that he was actually drafted by Pittsburgh. Johnny Unitas? Johnny Unitas. There we go. Who, what pick is the earliest a kicker or punter has ever been selected in the NFL draft? Was it Aguayo? Was he selected at 15? No, number six. Wow. I think someone drafted early. What two colleges have had the most number one picks in the NFL draft? I think, if I do remember correctly, it is USC and Notre Dame have had the most number one picks. Now, that's number one picks in the NFL draft. That's not including first round picks, but if it's number one picks in the draft, I think it's USC and Notre Dame. USC and Notre Dame. There we go. What is the most consecutive titles an NFL team has ever won? I think only... It's definitely not eight. Two... I'm trying to sit back. I don't think, like, I remember in the 70s, the Cowboys and the Steelers. The Steelers win three in a row. I'm going to say three? There we go. With three. Which of these colleges have never produced an NFL MVP winner? Let's see, San Diego State, Clemson, CNF Austin, and Augustana. I feel like Augustana, I feel like that's just like one of those ones that try to trick you. San Diego State, I, I forget who, but I do think a prominent guy came out there. I'm going to say Clemson. Clemson, let's go. How many Heisman Trophy winners are in the NFL Hall of Fame? That's the funny thing about Heisman winners. They're not really in the Hall of Fame a lot. So let's go winners in the Hall of Fame. 
E, meeny, miny, mo, because the tiger buys six. Frick. It was nine. Close, you know. Who had the most regular season wins of the 2000s? Regular season? Probably the Patriots if I had the Suma team who had the most. I mean, they were pretty the dominant team in all, especially one year going to feed in there. So I'm going to go with the Patriots. Although, watch it be the Colts. Watch them like pull trigger and be the Colts. No, and it's the Colts. I mean, that was my second guess anyway. Who has the most reaction and touchdowns in their 30s? <laughs> Peyton M. Smith, Marcus Allen. Well, M. Smith has the most record touchdowns of all time, which wouldn't be a bad guess. Uh, but John Riggins played in the league a long time. And so I'm going to go with John Riggins. There we go. Who has the most received touchdowns over 70 years, yards in a career? I, I mean, you think it'd be Jerry Rice or Randy Moss, but I think that's going to be one of those trickery ones. So I'm going to go Lance Althworth or James Lofton. Let's go with James Lofton. It was Lance Althworth. You know, I, I feel... How many NFL titles do the Steelers have? Well, if they won three in a row that I know of. And I know they've won at least two more recently. I know they've probably won. I'm going to go six. There we go. All right, we're probably going to run out of time here. How many NFL titles do the Lions have? The same amount as my Philadelphia Eagles, and that's a big fat O. If, whoa, they have a s titles. I keep thinking Super Bowls. This is bullcrap. You know what? I need to get out of my freaking millennial thinking. How many NFL titles do the Atlanta Falcons have? You know what? I'm going to go with zero because I don't know if they're actually pre-Super Bowl era, so I'm going to go with zero. Zero. <laughs> I mean, they shouldn't have won, but... What 49ers pass catchers associated with the catch? They want me to think it's Jerry Rice, but it's actually Dwight Clark. That's the catch against the Cowboys. I know that for a fact. It's Dwight Clark. I mean, it could be Joe Mon Oh, pass catcher. What game is known as the greatest game ever played? That is is one of the NFL, I mean, 58 NFL championship game. I'm pretty sure that's the Baltimore Colts versus New York Giants, if I remember correctly. Let's see here. Yeah. That's the one where the uh, Baltimore Colts beat the Giants. Um, what was the year the NFL Hall of Fame's first class? 1940. I don't know. I'm running out of time. I. Okay. Let's see the results here. What Hall of Fame award? Double zero. Jim Otto. I probably would not have got that right. Who is the only rookie to win MVP? NFL MVP. I actually did know that answer. So, all right, there you go. I mean, I think I did pretty decent, don't you think? Thank you guys for watching. Um, tell me how you guys did in the comments below. Tell me, you know, if what, tell me other things you want me to do, other trivias. I mean, I'm all for anything. So, comment below, please leave a like, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.